sound uh, translated as the sound of a moving. Uh, whether, whether you said, some people say, well, this was the wind of the Holy Spirit that was blowing. Hey, that's fine by me. Yeah, I don't, the wind of the Holy Spirit or the army of the Lord doesn't really matter. Come on. It's all God who's, who gets the glory and God who gets the victory. Come on. And, and so David had to wait for God to move. But here's the part that I want you to understand. That if you'll keep your spiritual ears on, if you'll inquire of the Lord, if you'll listen to Him, if you'll talk to Him about every single situation you go through. He'll give you the wisdom. He'll give you the discernment. He'll tell you what to do. And there will come a day. Oh, I hope you're hearing me today. There'll come a day when heaven will invade earth. That's what happened for David. Come on. The armies of the Lord came on the scene and the, the, they heard a sound in the mulberry trees. Can you imagine what that must have sounded like? Come on. All of a sudden those trees began to whoosh and go back and forth as the armies of the Lord go forward Amen. And they said, okay, now, right now, it's time to advance. I'm just here today to tell you that I believe that I hear a sound of something coming through the mulberry trees. Come on. I hear the sound of a marching of the Lord. I hear the sound of victory for God's people. It's the wind of the Holy Spirit blowing again. It's the power of God blowing again. I hear the sound blowing through the mulberry trees. But the question is, do we have the ears to hear it? Are we willing to step out in faith? I don't know about you, but I get tired of status quo. Tell your neighbor I'm tired of church as normal. Amen. I get tired of normal church. Hello? Amen. No more normal church. Come on. No more normal church. It's time to believe God. It's time to hear the voice of the Lord. It's time to inquire of Him. It's time to hear the sound of a moving. It's time to hear the sound of the army of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Every once in a while I get to preach a sermon and I get to that part and I think I just want to go back and preach that all again. That was so fun. Man, we, no, I'm not going to preach it again. <laughs> What was happening was <laughs> the natural world was feeling the force of the God of heaven and his hosts. I'm going to tell you something. I believe that God wants to invade his church. I believe that God wants to empower his church. I believe that God wants to touch his church once again if we have the courage and the faith to believe the Lord. Amen. Would you stand with me today? Oh, and this, let me read the last scripture. It says, and David did so. As the Lord commanded him, and he drove back the Philistines from Geba as far as Geser. The eyes and the ears of faith.